play a quick video for all the people who used to help me on my life. And now it can be very saddening and heartbreaking. And the people that brought me up, the people I knew, the people that I spent time with. And all I wanted is to be, have a place to call home and be safe and be around my family. And then Roz and Barry took me in as their own. Uh, even though I know they were Jehovah's Witnesses. And even though we made a video yesterday on Guy, which became a security guard. As you can see here, that's my YouTube channel, and that's Guy. And uh, good luck for Guy for getting a job. He has to pay the bills, and uh, Guy is a good man. He's a good work hard in man. Works hard for his friends, his family. He has a lot of time. For his family. I'm hoping Guy will see my video. And uh, I don't know if Guy stays in the same places. He may move around. Because obviously. I mean. He's a security guard. He may go to different clubs and events. But many people that are, are Jehovah's Witnesses. Probably don't become security guards. Or police. Because it's a religion. They don't like violence. But saying that. He put, being a security guard or a policeman. You're going to stop violence. You don't want the violence. You know what I mean? Um, I'm 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 happy for him. I'm proud for him. You know, and uh, hopefully I see this video. Same with the rest of the family that I used to live with. I know all guys' family, and uh, some people do, some people don't. He's got a lot of friends. He's very respectful, respected by a lot of people, and uh, yeah, he's very liked by a lot of people. He's always been a quiet man, guy, and uh, he knuckles down and gets his head down. Doesn't bother anybody, and uh, he just works hard. That's all, he, that's all he knows. Um, the same with everybody else that I knew in the family. Like Luke, Catherine, um, you know, um, to think of it, Andy, Sue, Michael, Bruce, Nicholas. You know, they've got all families as well and they work hard as well. I mean, Nicholas used to be a window cleaner. Good money, and most of the Joe winners usually do that. But it's not the point, though. I mean, he's worked hard all his life. He knuckles down. You know, he learnt, he's learnt something. And uh, I'm sure Guy's father, which is Barry, is very proud of him for what he does. And, um, you know, um, you know, I decided that I, I should have just stayed with them, really. They helped me in foster care, bringing me up when I grew up. And I had nowhere to go. And they took me in. And uh, now, thinking about it, I know I'm older. And I know I've got to try and stand on my own two feet. Which some people find hard to do so. Uh, since I've come down here to be with my family. Um, they seem to be quite distant. They don't know how to handle me. They don't know how to be around me. And... Um, Having the illness and the cancer as well, losing one testicle, which some people may laugh and take the piss about, which I don't find like a laughing matter, considering. Um, there's going to be people out there who judge people and laugh about that, which is kind of horrible. I should have just stayed with them. I had the best life and a happy life, but at the time I couldn't just see what was in front of me. I'm going to say how long I'm on the phone for. And uh, now. Do I regret coming back down here? I probably think I do. Um, a family can only help me in so much way. If they can. They're not as nice as these people that I'm talking about. I know I've lost, I've lost Roz. Of, of an illness. And I want to say rest in peace Roz. And uh, thank you for helping me. And um, I'm sorry that I wasn't the bestest person to be around half the time. And the nicest person to be around. Um... I do regret it now. You know, I really do regret it. I'm very sorry. I know Barry's still alive, but it's not the point now. And I know Barry's moved to a different place, a cheaper place, and uh, I've seen a lot of that place. Seen people come, some people go. Uh, I can't turn back the clock now. I'm going to have to just cope with what is. Not everyone's 
uh, forthcoming or, you know what I mean? What I mean by that is understanding as most people. But these people that I was with were quite understanding, part of their religion. I mean, they like to help people and understand people and uh, never judged people, you know. And now I've, I've got to live with this inside me for the rest of my life. That uh, I felt safe where I was and uh, now I'm not too sure. Sometimes it hits you like a ton of bricks what you've missed out on. I'm just in deep thought, I'm sorry. And losing my mum with breast cancer as well. Wasn't very nice. All these just memories just are flooding in my head. Or going through my head. Sometimes you talk to friends and family about your problems and they don't want to know or they don't understand. Or they can't answer your questions. Anyway, I better go. Thank you for all joining me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, take it easy.